Good morning. Uh, the update for Kilauea Volcano today is that activity continues at both the summit and in the Lower East Rift Zone. The Lower East Rift Zone lava flows are issuing from six fissures. The fissures have generally moved from the east back to the west. They're now in the western edge of the Leilani Estate subdivision. And the lava flows are moving very vigorously to the south to produce an ocean entry. Uh, the ocean entry is making its way towards the west, and there is still a Lay's plume at the ocean entry that will exist as long as there is an ocean entry. volcano today. There's still activity at the summit and in the lower east drift zone. The extent of fountaining and lava flows is about two miles and that's going from fissure 8 all the way up to fissure 22. There's two main channels of lava that are issuing from those vents going down to the coast. And one of the channels, the, the furthest channel to the east, is bifurcating so it's splitting into two and now we have three ocean entries. to the lower east rip zone, lava flows continue to erupt from the central fissure complex right around the eastern edge of the Leilani Estates neighborhood. Fissure 8 became reactivated overnight, but the primary activity has been around the fissure 7 and 21 area, and there's also two channels of lava that are still issuing down to the coast. In the Lower East Rift Zone, Fissure 8 is still producing very high fountains and lava flows that are moving uh, away from the vent towards the northeast. The flow yesterday crossed Highway 132, continued to travel along the highway, and the In the uh, Lower East Rift Zone, in the Leilani Estates area, uh, Fissure 8 um, was the most active fissure overnight. It was producing fountains up to 250 feet high and uh, continued to feed a lava flow moving north out of the uh, Leilani Estates area 
and then uh, which turned northeast along Route 132 into the Nori Farms Road area. Um, this morning, as of 6.15 a.m., it was about two miles from the Four Corners intersection, and that's about two miles to the west. Uh, starting in the lower east rift zone, um, Fisher 8 is uh, still the most active fisher and is continuing to produce persistent fountains up to heights of 260 feet and it's feeding a major lava flow field that is heading northeast alongside Highway 132. The flow front is moving at about 80 yards an hour and is currently 0.85 miles west of the Four Corners intersection. Um, a mandatory evacuation is in effect for Leilani Estates and residents of Kapoho Beach Lots and Vacation Lands are being urged to evacuate by 6 p.m. today or risk being isolated if the lava flow cuts access to Beach Road.